Salutations my Fallout lovers and welcome to my first ever Fallout 4 companion guide. This video series is designed to quickly teach you where to find these companions, how to maximize your relationship with the companions in Fallout 4, as well as showing off the perks you can earn by growing closer with these companions. The videos won't be too long, but the process itself takes time and dedication to these companions, so this series will be one of the more sporadic ones that come along as I play the game. I will begin this series by talking about Kate, who is easily one of my favorite companions in this game. Let's start off with where you can find Kate. Kate is located in the Combat Zone, which is a fight club for raiders hosted by a ghoul named Tommy. You can find this fight club on the map here, and here are some nearby locations. It's in a very cluttered area. Anyway, by clearing out the Combat Zone, Tommy will try to get Kate off his hands by allowing you to have her. Kindly accept his offer and allow Kate to join you. She can be a bit brash at first, but please give her a chance as she's one of Fallout 4's deepest characters, and it is a pure joy to see develop. Anyway, it's time for me to tell you how to win Kate over. In Fallout 4, companions like and dislike you based off your actions and choices in the Wasteland. Kate is one of the easiest companions to get to like you, but you will have to make sure your character is good with picking locks. Every time you pick a lock in Fallout 4 with Kate as your companion, whether it be a chest or a door, she has a chance of liking you more. She'll like you more and more based on the difficulty of the locks you can pick, but mind you, it does not happen every single time you pick a lock. Considering your relationship can build from one of the most useful mechanics in the game, it's very hard to get Kate to dislike you. As for seeking your approval in conversation options, Kate likes it when you're a hard ass through demanding rewards and overall just being a selfish person by only thinking for yourself. She does like the Brotherhood of Steel, so joining them and fighting for their cause won't negatively impact you. The only thing that will send your relationship backwards is when you're a kind soul to other Wastelanders. If you're cool with being a neutral slash selfish character, Kate is the companion for you. After about 15 hours of exploring with Kate, you will uncover more of her past, which I won't spoil for you. But as you uncover more, she will require your help at a certain point through a quest, which will send you to a vault. After that quest, you are in the final stages of your relationship and will only require a few more pick locks and conversation options before Kate idolizes you. From there, she will be a romance option, which I actually failed originally, but I still received a perk for becoming close with her. Now, if you're like me and you do fail the romance attempt, then dismiss Kate and let her return to one of your settlements and check her out at a later time and she'll give you a second chance to talk to her with that same option. If you succeed, you will receive the Lover's Embrace perk, which gives you a 15% experience boost for a limited time after sleeping in a bed while your companion is with you. As for the perk Kate gives you when your health is below 25%, your action points regenerate. Mind you, these perks stay with you even after you dismiss Kate, so it's worth investing your time in these companions. Anyway, that is my companion guide for Kate and how you get to like her and how you can romance her, so I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. Be sure to leave your thoughts on Kate in the comments down below. Other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, stay sexy, stay active, I love you all, peace.